welcome to the Teaching Corner. We've been doing a series on executive functioning, and today we're going to talk about perseverance. So perseverance is working through the difficult challenges and the roadblocks that come up along the way. And I've recently done a video with lots of study tools, and I'll link all of that down below, but different ways using mnemonics, using different things, different strategies, color coding, different things to help us get through certain things that are difficult. It also is teaching our students to try new strategies. So if we studied for a particular test in a particular way one time, let's say we used note cards and that didn't work, then we need to do it in a different way this time to study, maybe using Cornell notes or something like that. Um, and it's continuing to work on a task that's difficult. Um, and sometimes this will include a student asking for help. So many of our students don't ask for help because they don't know what they don't know. Um, so providing a space where we can talk to students, question students, ask them comprehension questions, giving them little uh, uh, spot checks along the way to make sure that they're understanding the information is really important because the last thing that we want to do is to frustrate a child and have them quit. We want to teach kids to continue working through things. Many times our students who have learning differences actually end up doing better in the broader world because they are used to getting knocked down and getting back up again, getting knocked down and trying again, trying a different way asking for help so teaching our kids perseverance is really important because it's going to help them in the long run no matter what it is that they've decided to do so I hope this is helpful if it was please like share and subscribe and I'll see you later bye